Hi guys, I'm Marcus Brown. I'm a 19 year old natural bodybuilder from the UK. This video might be a bit of a punch in the face to a lot of you, but I think you need to hear it. The way I do it, there's four stages of failure, right? And this isn't me saying I'm better than anyone else. This is just how I train, but a lot of you guys ask how I've achieved a certain amount of whatever. So I'm just letting you know. Um, I'm basically just, I'm just giving you the answers you want. There are four stages of failure, okay? First one is concentric. This is what you guys hit. And then you guys will make TikToks, post and say how, oh, no one outworks me. I'm the hardest worker in the room. I always hit failure. That's not failure. That's concentric failure. That's the warm up, basically, of failure. Um, hence why you guys might tell yourself, I've been training to failure. I'm not seeing any gains. Maybe it's time to hop on steroids at the age of 16. It's like, no, bro. Uh, <laughs> wait until you find out about the other three stages, mate. You got a uh, decentric. So this is, you can kind of only do this with a training partner. So a lot of the times I can't actually even do this. Um, but I'm going to explain it in a clip where I use me training for uh, using a compound, for instance, for my most recent um, leg session. Uh, here I have 220 kilos on the bar and I'm basically just doing my squats. My, my friend can't help me unless I had two people standing on either side, pushing the weight up from either side. And then I can do the decentrics on my compounds. I don't want to be going to the four stages of failure because I also just personally want to be getting stronger at my compounds. You're not going to get stronger um, at something if you reach failure on it. That's how the body works. Um, over time, you will get stronger progressively, but it will take way longer than if you just kind of went to concentric failure. Shit, can't do another rep, whatever. Game over. That's the end of the set. Um that's why this set, as intense as it is, um, you can see on my most recent leg day that I posted, um, that's not full failure. This um, back video of me training, however, uh, you can see I'm going to hit concentric in it. Then I hit decentric. My training partner gives me the rep. I mean, he gives me the weight. I do. I don't. I'm not. That's me just contracting. Um, he's actually pushing the weight for me. And I'm controlling it the way back. And I'm not um, letting the weight, the weight swing me forward. I'm, I'm controlling it all the way so um, I'm using my muscles, okay? And I'm still mentally in the muscle. I'm not in my biceps, I'm not in my red delts. I'm in my, I'm in my traps and my middle back on this, right? Um, th there comes a point where you can't control it anymore. Um, usually about the similar amount of reps you did on the concentric. Um, so you basically let the weight just take you there and it's just kind of not controlling you, just kind of like, your training partner's giving you the weight and then you're just like letting it go back. You've basically reached con uh, decentric failure. It's kind of hard to gauge, but you'll know um, if you're honest with yourself. A lot of people, they fake going to failure. I've trained with people who fake going to failure and they've done their set and be like, wow, what a good set. And I've, I've side-eyed them like, bro, we both know, uh, yeah, you know, you're just, you're opting out early because you can't take the pain. Um, again, I wouldn't train to the four stages of failure personally, unless you were trying to, a pro in bodybuilding like there's no point there's no you're not the pain is just um unbearable basically uh, and bearing in mind we're only doing one set when we're doing the four stages failure we're only doing one set you won't be able to do another set with the same weight or any even fucking half the weight uh if you're doing this properly okay um that being said we move on to the third stage uh static so this is when you hold it not at the length and position not in the squeeze position i'm holding it kind of roughly just where i'm contracting it back and it's like uh, how do I say this? It's like mid rep where I'm getting the most back activation. However, if this was on the leg extension, this would be at the top of the leg extension, uh, at the top of the rep. So I'm squeezing because that's when you're getting the most quad activation. I'm getting the most back activation, not up here, but kind of just, just past the squeeze. You'll find this out and what works for you. Don't listen to what everyone else says. This is what works for me. I'm different to you guys. I might have longer arms. I have, I have monkey arms. They're really long. So um, bear in mind, you might not want to just um, copy what I'm doing in every set you see on YouTube. Um, but you'll get to a point where you can't hold it anymore. The weight starts taking you back. That basically means you you can't hold it. And again, be honest with yourself. Uh, it's kind of like a pain gauge. It's how long can you take this pain for? And the weight will start dragging you back at the end of the day. Uh, there's only so much you can do but to let it go. That's static failure. Now you've got the fourth stage, which is length and partials. A lot of people fuck this up. They don't do it correctly because they're at the end of the set and they want to opt out easily. They're like, ah, oh. they, they, they've mentally clocked out. So they don't put in the actual work you're meant to put in because they've mentally clocked out. They, they're done. And that's, oh, guys, it's okay. 
it's pretty painful once you've gotten to this part. Um, you're pretty fucked already, right? Um, this is point A, this is point B, this is point C in the video that I'm using. Again, point A, point B, point C it will be different in all exercises. That's because that's just different exercises for you. A full rep, so concentric failure, is point A to point B to point C. Length and partials, you're going from A to C, uh, A to B, sorry. You can't get to C because you can't, you're not strong enough because you, you're not, you've you reached that failure. So you're going as many reps as you can from A to C, A to B, um, basically as a half rep. Uh, not 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 C to B, you're not doing them. That's, that's not a length and partial, you're doing a A to B, not a C to B. Once you've done that, you do as many as you can until you physically can't take the pain anymore. Um, usually your pain gives out before your strength gives out. You might be built different. I don't know. No one really knows. Um, but yeah, so a few little TikTok influencers. Here we go. Oh, I trained to failure. I'm going to fucking know how it works me. You don't know what you're doing. 